What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and today we've got to talk about what is going on in the markets because stocks are looking very green. It's actually really relieving to see that stocks are starting to come back in a decent and sizable way. Things have been so red for so long, things have gotten so dark and so grim that people have gotten kind of discouraged with the market at this point. And that's exactly what you want to be seeing towards a market bottom, right? That's a good indication that we're potentially at a market bottom. And now that we're seeing a lot of green, it is looking more possible than ever that we actually may have reached the bottom. Now, obviously no guarantees, but you can see from the look of the chart, things are looking pretty bright at the moment. You can see stocks are moving up in a big way. And uh, not to toot my own horn, guys, but the video I released yesterday, I mean, we'll look at it right here, essentially calling the market bottom, uh, even, even uh, you know, not too certainly, but uh, we'll take a look at this right here. You can see the bottom when I was releasing this video was $385.15 on the SPY. And you can see 385.15 right there at the bottom. We were making this video right around, right very close to the bottom. So uh, uh, not to toot my own horn, obviously I'm just kidding a little bit. Uh, even commented on this video, I think I'll just call market bottom every day until I'm right. No one can actually call the bottom exactly. Uh, but as long as we don't move down much further than this, uh, we might have actually called the bottom, if only somewhat by luck. And uh, knowing that, you know, times were looking pretty bad, but we did get a good catalyst just a couple of days ago. We're going to talk about that. It is obviously the Fed report. Let me pull that up real quick. Okay, right here, you can see the inflation report that I believe is a big cause for the market to be moving up and is partially why I think we're moving up in a big way today, right? We saw a decrease of 75% in the inflation numbers month over month. We went from 1.2% to 0.3%. This is a really big deal, and it's not just a big deal to me. It's a really big deal to Powell, okay? Powell is going to be talking next week, and he is certainly going to be talking about this inflation report, okay? Powell, next week on Tuesday, May 17th, is going to be speaking at 2 p.m., Eastern time. All right. That's when Powell, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, is going to be speaking. And it's going to be really important for markets what he says, okay? Because markets have been reacting very poorly to the tightening policy that has been enacted. I mean, we can see over the past 30 days, uh, stocks have been falling pretty dramatically. Even big stocks like uh, the Apples and the Amazons and the Teslas have been moving down in big, big ways. Now they're all looking a little bit greener off the back of this inflation report, even though it took a couple of days to get there. Uh, people are starting to realize that maybe at Powell's meeting, what that he has on Tuesday, we are not going to hear too much more hawkish stuff. I mean, Powell obviously is a friend to markets, right? It's obvious that he likes the markets a lot. We saw how much cash he pumped into the system during the pandemic to stop a stock market crash. He obviously likes the markets a lot, and he does have to deal with inflation as well. And I will say that if he has the opportunity to be a little bit more dovish, I think he might end up taking that opportunity, right? I think that because we did see inflation come down in such a big way, he might not need to sound as hawkish as he has in the past. Overall, I think that could be good for markets. So Tuesday, May 17th, when Powell speaks, that will be a very important date to watch for, okay? That's really, in my opinion, what's going to determine which way the market starts moving from then on out, because Powell is kind of running the show here. I mean, we can see the stock market chart and we can see that, you know, even though inflation has been high for the past year, just about, it wasn't until Powell really seriously started about talking about tightening that we did see the market move down in a pretty dramatic way. And guys, I'm not saying that we are absolutely at market bottom. There's obviously a possibility that we could move lower, uh, especially depending on what Powell says, potentially even before then. You can see over the th past 30 days, we've been moving down pretty steadily, and it's not as if this bounce up guarantees that it's going to continue. It's not a guarantee that we're going to continue moving up, but it does look very hopeful, right? I'm very hopeful that we may have actually bottomed out. Uh, it would be pretty cool to have called it right at the bottom, even though it's just kind of a, a joke at this point. But other than that, guys, you know, that's just my opinion on what's going on in the markets. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. Make sure to watch out for May 17th because it will be very important. Whatever Powell says, I'll make sure to make a video on it. So feel free to subscribe if you're interested in that. And other than that, guys, keep in mind none of this is financial advice. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.